Hey, my Libra loves. Welcome to Libra Love Tarot. Thank you guys so much for coming through, clicking on the video. If you're here for the first time, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. Um, let's go ahead and get into the messages, okay? This is going to be um, a reading about you and Capricorn, okay? So if you're dealing with the Capricorn, um, then this reading is going to be about you and this person and what's going on in you guys' situation, okay? And please remember that the messages won't be for everyone. Uh, even if you are dealing with the Capricorn, this may or may not be your situation specifically, okay? So only take the messages if they're for you. If not, then don't try to force it at this time, okay? So I'm going to start with Capricorn since we are in Capricorn season. So yeah, let's get into it. Capricorn at the bottom of the deck already. So, uh, I'm just going to go in order of whatever this order is. Since Capricorn is already at the bottom of the deck, I'm just going to go in whatever order is next. Okay, so, um, we're going to start with Capricorn. Mm -mm -mm. Please give me clear and accurate messages for Libra at this time. I pray that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Please, ooh, please deliver us from evil. Y'all, if y'all have noticed my little prayer... Oh, hold on, let me finish. <laughs> please block any negative energy spell or evil eye that may be being sent toward the collective. Please give me the messages for Libra for their highest good. I say amen. So if y'all have been noticing, because I've been noticing that my prayers have been having little extra additives in them and they're different almost every time the last few readings, that's direct channeled messages from spirit okay like this they're or, or my guys they're telling me this is what you need to put in this prayer because so yeah okay and especially with those last two messages that i posted i get it <laughs> all right look look at that damn all right i don't know if that's y'all or not but let's see shuffling for libra and Capricorn, shuffling for Libra and Capricorn spirit. Please give me clear messages and accurate messages for my Libra dealing with the Capricorn, the highest energy, strongest energy that needs to come through at this time for Libra dealing with a Capricorn energy, please spirit. Libra dealing with Capricorn. What's going on in this connection? What does Libra need to know at this time, please spirit? Okay, bottom of the deck, you have reconciliation. I'm hearing, I miss you uh, by Aaliyah. You could have known this person since college or since high school or younger. Um, that part where she says, um, off the college, yeah, you ran away. Straight from high school, you up and left me. So this could be a long-standing connection. This could be a reconciliation with someone you new back then i haven't seen from um that time or maybe y'all have been connecting i don't know okay but reconciliation it says reunion second chance back together miss you so second chance may be coming around with this person this person could be missing you or maybe you're already back together with this person okay all right for libra they only capital points here what does libra need to know what are the messages somebody some of you could have recently hooked up with this person because i did see the hookup card on the bottom of the deck Oh, you got X level in the reverse. So change, I feel like I'm going to put it up in the upright because I normally, I don't really take these cards in the reverse, but I will acknowledge that it flipped in the reverse because that was very clear. Um, But X level is in the reverse. So I'm feeling like if this is an X or somebody from the past, it, it says memories, the past, old flame and nostalgic. Okay. Um, I'm feeling like this person has a secret crush on you. Okay, yeah, I'm getting quite a few scenarios here, so let me um let me try to say them all. Okay, so the first thing I'm getting is that uh this ex-lover is no longer a thing of the past. Okay, this person is secretly crushing on you. And um, they could be or you could be one of you or both of you could be letting go of another situation. OK, there could be there's change here. OK, and, and truth, social media, this person may be hitting you up on social media. They may want to be with you, start a family with you, romantic feelings. OK, confessing their feelings for you. OK, that's a scenario for somebody. 
Yeah, I feel like if this person left you heartbroken, there's some unfinished business here. This person could be healing, going through some type of healing or change or something like that here, okay? Or things are changing between you and this person. For some of you, you there there's two people here, okay? And you have an ex-lover that's showing up and, and you have a secret crush and it says surrender. So I kind of feel like... Okay, if you're resonating with the first part where something is not over with your ex and this person is coming back around and you guys are reconciling um, or an old flame or something like that, I'm getting that this person is finally ready to surrender to this uh, connection. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, this person has secret feelings for you. So they've been keeping their feelings hidden, keeping their feelings a secret. But now with this butterflies here and the change here, now things are growing, things are changing, or there's an opportunity for things to grow and change between the two of you. And this person is just deciding to surrender to this connection and to their feelings, okay? For some of you, you are releasing an ex or somebody's releasing an ex and secretly crushing on you. You got a, a ex that you're releasing and a secret crush that's coming in after you let go of someone else, okay? Or this is vice versa. It could be your person that's letting go of an, of an ex and, you know, um, secretly crushing on you, okay? So take the energies, how they resonate for you. I try to give y'all, you know, different scenarios. <laughs> but I am going to put this ex lover in the upright. I feel like somebody doesn't want to be an ex anymore. Somebody wants, you know, that reconnection type of energy. You have the change card on the bottom of the deck. Regeneration, growth, metamorphosis, and cycles, okay? Oh, Spirit said, look at the top of the deck. And you got the reconciliation card at the top. So, yeah, roll the dice with the home. So, this person's about to take a leap of faith here because they feel like you two belong together. They, this person feels comfortable with you. For some of you, you could be moving in with this person. Or you guys could be, like, buying a home together after you reconcile or something like that. Um, if this is somebody from your hometown, they could be returning back or you could be returning back to your hometown. And then, you know, you guys are hooking up like that. Um, but it seems like somebody's ready to take a leap of faith. Look, faded meeting. It says meant to be destiny predetermined encounter. All right. Okay. Well, let's see what else. Leave are dealing with Capricorn spirit. Oops, are these in the reverse? Yeah, hold on. I got the deck upside down. <laughs> A red card could be significant for somebody. Child, look, I can't make it up. What does it say? Reconciliation coming back together. Reunion. Second chance. Back together. I miss you. Reconciliation. All righty. Somebody's hating or will be hating on this connection. Somebody's mad about this. Okay. Libra dealing with Capricorn spirit. Libra dealing with Capricorn. Libra dealing with Capricorn. Oh, shit. Why am I hearing Lucy? You got some explaining to do. That's why his name is Nikki. That's why his name is Mariah. Carrie or Carrie. I'm hearing Lisa. I'm hearing demonstration or demonstrating. All right, so I'm getting for some of you, you um, if you don't want to deal with this person, um, then maybe this was somebody that lied to you or did something, you know, in the past or something like that. I'm hearing you got no room for liars. Okay, it says the door is closing, no entry, liar. Okay, I'm hearing no room for for a liar. This person could be a player, player from the Himalayas for some of you. They could or they could have been. Okay, and I feel like you've healed. You've been doing a lot of healing since um the last time you saw this person or dealt with this person. So you may be, you know, letting go and releasing this situation. Even if you um do have some type of feelings or did have some type of feelings for this person, maybe you're just not um on that same level, that same frequency as this person, okay? And you're like done with the situation. Nine on nine on the timer. Nine talks about endings. Mm -hmm. Could be connecting with the September Libra. Okay, some of you um, could have Virgo placements. Uh, Libra, Virgo Cusper, you could be legal. Blah, blah, blah. I said legal. Somebody could work in the, uh, in the law or something legal, something about legal matters. Uh, Libra dealing with Capricorn spirit. What's going on in this connection? What do we need to know about this connection?
Somebody could drive a blue car. I'm hearing I aim to please. Hmm, all right. Somebody is, is not sure of whether or not they should keep going with this uh, connection. You could be at a crossroads of some kind. Yeah, somebody needs to take some time to think. So I feel like either you could have been spending a lot of time with yourself or by yourself or this person. Also, the hermit type of energy is out here. So like I said, Virgo energy, you could have strong Virgo placements or this person. All right. Uh, this person could want to come see you, could be traveling towards you in this blue car. Um, doesn't have to drive a blue car. It could just be a vehicle, but somebody could drive a blue car, okay? Could be confirmation for somebody. Somebody's ex in particular could drive a blue car. Um, I feel like if you've been secretly crushing on this person or if they've been secretly crushing on you, there is hope in this connection if you want it. If you don't, then that message is not for you, okay? Some of you feel like um, you need a little more time alone or you need time to think and reflect or this is what you have been doing or this is what this person is doing, okay? Or will be doing. For some of you, this could be an older man or you could be an older man. You could be a man older than this your person, or uh, you could be dealing with an older man, okay? All right, anything else about this connection, Spirit? Anything else about this connection that we were to know? I'm just, I just, I'm just hearing this may take some time. Okay, that's it. Woo. Yeah, you're like, I, some of you have dealt with this person lied to you. Um, in the past, and I'm definitely feeling like this, I'm saying in the past because you have reconciliation and ex-lover, okay? So I'm saying this person, if you're connecting with that, this person um, could have lied to you in the past and you closed the door, you locked the, you know, the door to your heart and things like that. You guys could have reconnected via social media, okay? I feel like this person could have been, you or this person or the both of you could have been in a toxic karmic relationship, possibly um, with somebody from work. Okay, office romance, work wife or husband. Okay, somebody could drive a red car. Your ancestors are here. All right, showing up. All right, let's see what else. Okay, Spirit, tell me. How is this Capricorn currently feeling about Libra? Okay, talking. This person could be interested in talking to you more. Um, they could be waiting on a phone call, text message from you, or vice versa. Okay. Ooh, bottom of the deck says love, honey. Unconditional love, self holiness. This person love you. And again, if you're still, if you're not connecting with this person, you have more missing you energy. Okay. Reminiscing, missing you, looking at pictures, nostalgia, wanting to make new memories with you, wanting to reconnect. All right. How does Capricorn feel about Lib Damn. feel about Libra? Okay. Sword and Rose came out. It says uh, clarity, truth. So I feel like an honest conversation needs to take place here. Somebody wants to have an honest conversation with you. Okay, how's um, Libra currently feeling about this Capricorn? How's Libra currently feeling about this Capricorn spirit? Okay, you feel like this is your person. For some of you, you feel like this is your twin flame or you know this is your twin flame. Now, whether or not that means that you want to reconnect with this person, I don't know. For some of you, this is just confirmation that this is your twin flame or your counterpart or soulmate or whatever you want to call this person. Um, and for some of you, you know, you know that this is your twin flame, but you don't care. For some of you, you do care. So just take it how it resonates, okay? Yeah, but I feel like for whoever I'm connecting with here, you are interested in talking to this person or at least seeing where things could go, meeting up with this person, maybe over drinks, coffee, or at least having some type of conversation here, seeing if you guys can build a friendship or, or maybe even start over from the beginning. How's Libra currently feeling about this Capricorn? How's Libra currently feeling about this Capricorn spirit? I want to know what this person want to talk about, too. How's Libra kind of feeling about this Capricorn? Give me one more. Okay, separation. So if you're in separation from this person, if you are going through some type of twin flame separation or you guys aren't talking for whatever reason, you miss this person. You're thinking about them and you want, you're wondering what the future holds, if anything, for the two of you. Okay, you want to reconnect. You want to rise from the ashes and rebuild 
excuse me, this connection. All right. Um, what does this person want to talk to Libra about? What does this Capricorn want to talk to Libra about? Spirit? What's this truth and clarity? What does this Capricorn want to talk to Libra about? Ooh, okay. That's a lot. Wedding rings was the thing that came up, but I don't know. This could be having something to do with a marriage. Maybe this person's marriage, if they were married, or you, or something. Let's see. One clear message, please. What does uh, Capricorn want to talk to this Libra about, Spirit? What does Capricorn want to talk to this Libra about, please? Okay, whatever it is, they ain't talking today. They love you. <laughs> Showing up again. I asked how they felt in the beginning, and you had love on the bottom of the deck. Now you got it again. But they not telling you today. They Or they have been avoiding this, okay? This person's avoiding this conversation. I feel like they're trying to heal. Yeah, I've been saying something about healing. So they're avoiding something, but they're they're healing and they're missing you. <sighs> All right. Um, let's see what else. Tell me about Libra and this Capricorn energy spirit. Tell me about my Libras dealing with a Capricorn, please, spirit. Tell me about my Libras dealing with the Capricorn. So this person wants to speak the truth to you. I'm hearing, um, baby, if you give it to me, I'll give it to you. I know what you want. You know I got it. Oh my gosh, look at the bottom of the deck. Generosity, as I was singing that song. Baby, if you give it to me, I'll give it to you. <laughs> So I'm getting like reciprocity from this situation. Yeah, there's a connection here. Six, uh, the number six here. This is lover's energy and spiritual maturity. This person has been um, growing. Okay. Somebody could be 34. Um, the number six is here. Your life path number could be six. Somebody could be 25. Um, October, you could be an October Libra. Okay. I'm hearing, baby, let me wrap you in my warm embrace. Yeah. Okay. Tell me about Libra and this Capricorn energy, please, Spirit. Tell me about Libra and this Capricorn energy, please. What does Libra need to know about this connection? Tell me about this connection. Tell me about this connection, please. Okay, you have guidance. Again, your ancestors showing up here. I feel like this this is a like a divinely guided connection. Okay. Belonging on oh, here, and we belong together. But y'all missing each other. I can't sleep at night when you are on my mind and manifesting each other. Look at that shit, child manifestation. Wow. Okay, <laughs> somebody manifest this connection. Either you, them, or them, you, or the both of you. Okay, my right, my left ear just started ringing. Manifestation healing. Wow. So something's being revived here. There's, there's. Look at this energy. Both of them are on swings. Y'all see that? Both of them on swings, and one of them says, "Letting go, release, give up, patience." Okay. And remember, I was saying that somebody may be surrendering to this connection, or somebody needs a little bit more time to heal so that they can um, let go of something, maybe a past situation, or somebody is finally surrendering to their feelings. Okay, and I'm getting something being revived here. Card number 24. All right. Your birthday could be October 22nd, October 24th. I mean, sorry, September 20th. So October 22nd. Uh, Wait, or is it September? September 22nd, October 24th. Yeah, clear your energy. I was just saying that in the last reading. Y'all keep your energies clear. There's the blessings card. Soulmates. Wow. Yeah, both of you are on spiritual journeys right now, okay? I feel like your person may have just started theirs, okay? Um, but healing, healing is here. Somebody wants to nurture this connection and preserve this connection. You have guidance, nurture, uh, preserving, perseverance, sorry. 
Wow, I said preserve for some reason. Somebody wants to preserve this connection. You have perseverance. So um, wanting to keep going, striving to keep going, feeling like you two belong together and wanting to heal this connection. But there is a there is an element of healing here. So I don't know if, you know, there's a healing of this connection. If somebody still has some healing to do. I keep hearing you got some explaining to do. Yeah, that talking, that that wanting to confess or something. Somebody maybe want to confess their feelings, okay? Somebody could be 33, 38, 28, 41, or 36. Wow. February the 8th could be significant. I, that keeps coming out in multiple readings. You guys may want to jot that date down just to see what happens. March 3rd, March 8th could be significant. April 1st, March 6th. Yeah. March came out in a reading too. February the 2nd could be significant. Oh my gosh. I split it on promise of the future, honey. Somebody's making you a promise. We belong together. Number eight. Something about August could be significant. Uh, Something about the next, what? what is that? Like seven months? Yeah. Okay. All right. How does this person see Libra? How does this person see Libra? How does this Capricorn see Libra? How does this Capricorn see Libra spirit? Because I'm getting they see you as very nurturing, very um calm. I'm not and I'm hearing committed or commitment. I'm hearing lifelong partner. Jeez, please. Sacred woman, sacred feminine, divine feminine energy. Enlightenment, prosperity, and splendor. I'm, I'm saying they think you're very smart. I'm hearing, I heard knowledgeable. So this person thinks you're very smart. They see being able to create some type of prosperity and, and abundance with you. Okay, they like your energy. They see you as very enlightened. Okay, so you could be very spiritual here. This person likes that about you. I'm hearing they may not understand it. <laughs> okay, so but they like it about you. Okay, wow, and they they feel like you you can make things happen. Yeah, childlike expression. They have a lot of fun with you. Okay, number twelve is here. Wow, they think about you a lot too. All right. Well, dang. I like it. All right. Let's see. Libra and... Oops, I almost said Gemini. There could be a... Don't tell me there's a third party child. There could be a Gemini in the mix. Or some, yeah. I almost said Libra and Gemini. Gemini could be somebody's ex. Because <laughs> it's feeling third party-ish. Okay. You have expressed your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gestures. All right. Tell me about this Libra and this Capricorn energy spirit. Tell me about Libra and Capricorn. I hear something about the Dalai Lama. All right. So you guys could be getting to know each other. If this is a reconciliation, you guys could be getting to know each other over again or getting to know like the new people like the, that you've grown and evolved into. Okay, wow, I just put it on reconciliation and then soulmate is at the bottom of the deck. Yes, this is your soulmate. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Manifesting, yeah, romantic feelings, make the effort and separation. So for some of you, you're in separation with this person. Split it on engagement, split it on codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. I feel like this person may be addicted to you. That came out before. I don't know why I said that like that. <laughs> Past life relationship and pay attention to the red flags. Ooh. Okay. So it says, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. You have known each other before. So this is definitely somebody from your past. It says past life relationship, but I feel like you could have had, if you this is your twin flame for some of you, then you guys, and you're in some type of twin flame separation, then yeah, you definitely could have known each other in several past lives. Okay. Um, Yeah. Um, the signs are cautioning you. Pay attention to the red flags. Uh, 
I want to clarify that before I say what I was about to say. There could be a better option out there for those of you who are not interested in this person. There could be um there's a there, you know there's another option out there you know a better option. This is not your one and only person end all be all even if this is your twin flame okay. I feel like you guys are um let me see clarify this pay attention to the red flag spirit. This may be somebody that you guys have um, cried to your friends about with at some point. Okay. Wow. So that card did come out. <laughs> ah. Jealousy, better option, unhappy, and deserve better. So, yeah, for some of you, there is another option out there. If you don't want to pay, if you don't want to deal with this person, I heard a walking red flag. And for some of you, remember I said, for those of you who this person could have lied to you a lot in the past or whatever they did in the past and you don't want to deal with them, don't worry. There's a better option out there. This isn't your end-all, be-all person. Um, home. healing so i don't know why this home card is out here it says comfort safety belonging and shelter <laughs> this person could have thought that there was a better option out there for them as well but now they want to come back home to you or you feel like home to them or they feel comfortable and safe with you and again we have belonging out here on this card belonging is out here twice Also, if this is somebody that you want to deal with, um, that you do want to deal with, the red flags could be jealousy. So this person may, you know, get jealous about you dealing with other people or talking to other people or vice versa. OK, this could be you or the both of you. I don't know. I also feel like if this person was dealing with someone else um, there, they were unhappy in their home and they feel they felt like you were the better option. Or somebody feels like you deserve better than them or they deserve better than whoever they were dealing with before. Um, they could have thought the grass was green on the other side, but realized that it wasn't. So, but I feel like jealousy could be an issue in this situation. And I don't feel like, well, let me clarify that. Clarify the grass is greener. Because I don't feel like crazy, toxic type jealousy. Like, I better not ever see you looking at nobody else and I'll slap you. Like, nah, it's just like this person, like, remember I said this person could be addicted to you, obsessed with you, and it's like, I don't want nobody else looking at you. It's like, you know, you're mine for some of you. Yeah, relationship or unfinished business. For some of you, this is like a second opportunity coming back around, second chance. Yeah, like, you may have thought that this was over, especially if this person chose someone else over you or you know went or or if you guys just got separated and went in different directions you could have chosen someone else over them however it goes um also another thing be careful because if they were dealing with somebody else then that relationship may not be fully over but that's not going to be for everybody i'm just getting that um this person was or is currently unhappy in another situation and that whatever is going on between the two of you, something is not finished, it's not over, okay? Could be somebody that you have a lot of um, in and outs back and forth with. What's the most likely outcome here? What is mm, What does this Capricorn want the outcome to be with Libra? What does this Capricorn want the outcome to be with Libra spirit? Okay, 
So I'm getting if you guys had any type of um, misunderstanding with each other or something like that. I'm getting like they want to fix this, but I'm also getting some type of level of fear about, um, you know, being hurt or being caught up in a toxic situation here. It's like if this situation was to get toxic for any reason, they would they would leave. OK, which is understandable, you know, um, they may be afraid of you leaving for some reason. They may have like a fear of abandonment type of issue. This person could feel like you guys are meant to be together or they want to see where this goes, but they're afraid of getting hurt. Or this could be you. Take the energies how they resonate, y'all. I'm going to leave the message here. Um, I hope this helps. Bye.